What is going on YouTube and Weight Loss Warriors? It's your boy C-Dub and I'm back with another video. Today I want to talk to you guys about 6MAD and what it is and I'm going to do it right after this. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy C-Dub and if you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you guys and ask for you to subscribe. I lost 125 pounds using intermittent fasting and mainly the OMAD method and I want to tell you all about it. And this video is particularly special because I, for the first time, am going to talk exactly about what I did for the majority of my journey as far as my eating and I'm going to fill you guys in on it in one second. But first, I want you guys to do me a favor. If you've enjoyed my content, if you like my videos, guys, I'd like to ask you to take your favorite one, whatever it is, and I'd like for you to put it on your social media for me, guys, on, on Facebook, on Instagram, or on Twitter, and I'd love for you to tag me in that post. Once you tag me in the post, it'll notify me that it's out there, and then I can send you a personal DM message thanking you for supporting me and trying to spread the word, and then I will also shout you out in a video. I'm trying to grow to help as many people as I can, and I need your help to get me out there. So with that aside, Let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's talk about what it is and, and what it's all about. Six Mad. You know, this video has been an interesting one. It's taken me about six times to record it, including Frankie trying to say hi and, and cutting his foot right next to me. And so I've had all the drama, but I'm going to get through it right here. So we're going to talk about it, and this is the scoop. So what I did in my journey was Sunday night I had a decent meal. Sunday night I sat down and ate, and I ate a pretty good amount. And I would not eat again on that following day. So when Monday rolled around, I went through the whole day with nothing but water. Simply nothing, a full water fast. And I would eat Tuesday at, like, let's say 5 o'clock. So I ate Sunday at 5 and Tuesday at 5. And so that gave me a 48-hour water fast in the middle of my week. And I always did it, no matter what. I would make sure I was super busy on Mondays. And the reason I personally chose Monday to do the fasting is because it was the first day of the work week. I know I'm the busiest on Monday. I'm always catching up on paperwork from the last week. I'm always planning the week. I'm always getting things done. Uh, so we're super busy. We had jiu-jitsu on Mondays. We had wrestling on Mondays, nights. So I know from beginning to end, I'd be moving. And so after Tuesday came around, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, you know, kind of was just a standard OMAD situation with the exception on Thursdays. So after, uh, on Thursdays, when I ate on Wednesday night at 6 p.m., I did not drink anything until the OMAD meal on Thursday. And I did that for probably four months of my journey, and those months were the months I lost the most weight. So I had a 23-hour dry fast and a 48-hour water fast every single week built into six OMAD meals. Now, I'm not saying you have to do it exactly like this. I'm not even suggesting that uh, what I did was the smartest or right, uh, or right way, but I've never really talked about it and I've never really given you insight into, let's call it, you know, the, the, the C-Dub method or the, the, the six MAD method, guys. So what I figured it does is it allows you to stay consistent in the fasting situation. I see it all the time in YouTube where people don't plan their week out and they do like a three day fast and they eat for a couple of days and then they go back and there's no consistency. I don't think they know what's going on, but I was faced every week. I knew exactly what to do. And Wednesday after dinner, I stayed away from the fluids all the way till Thursday. And I, I did that little dry fast in there, which was the worst day. I'm going to tell you guys now, Thursday was worse than Monday. And so, you know, once I got in the swing of it, it was no problem. And by missing Mondays, what happened is later on in the journey, I started wrestling on Wednesday nights. So the first time, I didn't eat on Monday, I didn't eat on Wednesday, and then I dry fasted and I realized immediately that was too much. So I ended up getting rid of the dry fasting day and I ended up just fasting on Wednesdays during wrestling season. And then I would fast on um, Friday night if I had a tournament where I was out because in wrestling sometimes we would be out till 10 o'clock at night so if I'm out till 10 o'clock at night and I'm busy all day there's no point in even eating and I'd pick it up uh, Saturday but that was only a couple of times that that happened we only had three maybe Friday night tournaments through the whole course of the whole time so ultimately 
I think the six mad method is an effective method. I wouldn't, you know, necessarily recommend you jumping into six mad because that that those two fasting days of the dry fast and the 48 hour fast, I think could be a little much. But I'm going to tell you what, if you've been OMAD and you've been killing it for a while and you don't see that scale moving, if you move to six mad, you're going to lose weight, guys. I believe it. I think it, it gives you a whole day. So if you overeat oh, by 100 calories every day, that one day of fasting is going to make up for it. If you think about it, the average person burning 3,000-ish calories a day, so it's almost a pound. So when you're really looking at a situation when you have that free fast day, you've just taken 3,000 extra calories that if you overeat every single day 100, you're still on the six, going to lose 600 there out of the 1,000. You still lost 2,500 or two-thirds of a pound. You've still lost two-thirds of a pound in a week, and you overate all of your OMAD meals. So that's just my two cents. I hope you guys get something out of six mad. Um, I've never approached it like this. I hope it's logical. I hope it's smart. I hope you guys take it, take into it. And if you get to a plateau, you start thinking about six mad. I'm going to catch you on the next one, guys. I am out. Peace.